<clears throat> You're holding up this team here. And we are back. Playing Automacon. Second match. We're keeping the same races. We're keeping the same heroes. We're even keeping the same map. But we're changing the strategies. Changing the strategies. You heard it here first. We are rolling head deep, neck deep in strategies right now. Playing the game of Automacon. Uh, series 1, Game 2, and now showing you from the perspective of Sarah. Let's switch it over to me, because here in this game, I bring it, and in response to your early rush last game, uh, you, you can notice immediately that I said, this, this game I'm not going to lose. I'm going to put up these towers here, and you will never get to my crystal. And if you get to my crystal, you are going to get wasted. So that's basically... Uh, my philosophy here building this uh, base you'll notice here the lab this is my entry into uh, the economic game here and uh, this will pump out these mechs which I really enjoy because they're kind of like my little sidekicks uh, running around the map building stuff repairing stuff and also you'll see coming up um, little dune buggies this lab has these dune buggies which rolls around scouting the map one thing that's very cool in the game of Automicon is you can select um, certain skills and actually apply them to existing classes of units. So for example, this dune buggy here, he has scout. So he's kind of useless towards the end of the game where you, when you don't really care about seeing what the enemy is up to. Um, but at the same time, uh, I think later on in this game, I give him chop. So he's going to run around and actually take care of these trees here and give me jewels and thus generate gems which I can collect. So you'll see here I made a pretty interesting and regrettable move to just charge your base with my hero. I tried very hard to knock down your silo but that just ended in a complete disaster and I think that in part cost me the game. I think so too and you'll notice uh, you lost a lot of momentum there because just with a, um, these very powerful hero skills you can quickly sway the tide of battle. So while the base building is very important, the hero basically has an equal say in the outcome of the match. And you can notice I just mowed down these early units, um, stunned you, just kept up the momentum here and brought this uh, battle to a very uh, quick ending. Yeah, your strategy was just nearly perfect. Impeccable. Impeccable. Nearly perfect. So uh, that's a rare occurrence here in the Doman household. Um, but it's something that I am actively working on. So thank you for watching this game. And I hope that you stay tuned to the next game, game three in session one, Sarah versus Andy, the developer sessions. Thank hey, you. Hey, Andy, I just want to take a second and congratulate you on winning this match. GG, my friend. GG. Handshake. Yeah. Like we're shaking hands. That's exactly what we're doing right now. We're shaking hands. You, you would see if you were here. Thank you for watching. Here I just take down. This is merciless now. I feel somewhat bad that I'm absolutely destroying oh, your base. Do not feel bad. And Andy. the game is almost over and it has... Thank you.